I think the Celtics are just trying to be as safe as they can be. But we never know what's going on. Like, you, you can't assume anything, Adam, you're right. I mean, you just, as we know, like, I'd be very highly surprised if everybody in camp on October 2nd is completely 100% healthy. There's going to be some type of nagging injury. Um, we'll see how Malcolm, Malcolm's the one I'm concerned about too, because we've heard nothing and he's angry with the team. So I don't think communication between the two sides have been fruitful. So he could just say, listen, man, I'm not, I'm not getting no surgery. I'm just going to let this heal. And y'all just going to wait for me to let it heal. You know, it could be somewhat of a protest for being on the trade block or something. I don't know, but uh, you would think that that wouldn't be the case, but we'll see October 2nd, you know, when they, and then or that October 3rd, when that first practice is like, actually who's on the floor. Um, well, let's, let's, let's go right there though, because I, I think that probably, you know, raised an eyebrow for people out there listening. If, if Malcolm Brogdon, I would get it, you know, I'm not blaming him, but if Brogdon's upset with the team, is that, well, I mean, that's, you know, if, if, he was, no, he was not happy. I mean, and that, now was that, you know, he was not happy in July. Is he the same uh, level of unhappiness in September? Uh, we don't know. You know, he hasn't talked all summer. I mean, people have tried to reach him or he's, he hasn't spoken at all all summer. So we don't know. It's just like Marcus Smart. Is Marcus Smart as uh, hurt by the trade to Memphis now as he was in July? No, because now he's kind of into being a Memphis Grizzly, he sees the future, he's excited. So uh, does time let those things kind of dissipate? But yeah, like Malcolm Brogdon was not happy about the deal. He or being potentially dealt. There was not, there's no, he was, he was pissed. Ever wish you could navigate the betting field with the confidence of a pro? Enter odds are. They're not a sports book, but they're the sports betting advisor you always needed. It's like having a playbook for smarter bets right in your pocket. I've been absolutely loving the experience, and I think you will too, especially since Celtics All Access listeners get a 30-day free trial. Elevate your game day and join the smart betting revolution. Go get it at oddsr.com slash Celtics. That's oddsr.com slash Celtics. New FanDuel customers can bet $5 and get 200 in bonus bets, guaranteed. Plus, all customers who bet $5 will get $100 off NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube and YouTube TV.